Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam Naim. Uh, a very good petang for everyone here. Yep. Ya, uh, kita nak welcome siapa ni? Kita nak welcome our one and only. Yes. Kita tahu dia akan bergelar yes. secara tidak seniwati dan juga wow. biduan wow. uh, itu. Wow. Siapa itu? We grew up watching Not we grew up lah Maksudnya macam Tengok macam tengok Kita sama-sama <laughs> tahu dalam industri kita yep. ni Akan diwarnai Akan lebih meriah dengan mm-hmm. kehadiran dia Ya yeah. Iaitu Ya yeah, we know. Kita kena compliment dulu Compliment lagi Oh compliment lagi lah Nak bagi lagi goreng lagi yeah, She's like uh, We can see like uh, Precious Uh, apa, apa kita lagi kata? Naim, lagi uh, Naim, ba- jam, lagi Naim kan? Bajam Lagi This industry lagi Perfilman kita Sebab lagi. we know Every single lagi. Like macam Work of art That she have been Participated in Sekian Semua terima kasih Pada podcast kita hari ini Memang dah settle lah Alhamdulillah Gila, ah, gila. This memang is like uh, Once in a blue moon uh, Once in a blue moon kita pun tak Sekali sangka. dalam bulan biru <laughs> Gelak dia Gelak tak, tak dah, dah dengar kan Korang dah tahu dah Dah, dah tahu dah Siapa? Christopher Lu punya Siapa tu? Ah. Welcome Diana Daniel Hell. To our podcast What Ooh. the youth What the hell guys No, <laughs> no, 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 no What the youth So how are you? Woo. Oh my god Damn Ui, high pitch Go Baru cakap C sharp tadi tu <laughs> oh, okay. C sharp I'm so happy that I dapat keluar daripada rumah Ooh. And just be A wow. couple of hours away from my children Thank you so much Ah <laughs> 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 Cemat, <laughs> jangan dengar. <laughs> no, I'm I'm very happy to be here. Actually, masa mula-mula I got this offer, I mm-hmm. felt so proud of Ooh. my two boys. Oh, wow. Um, so but dirasa whatever you guys do will empower the youth, and that's why I'm here today. Yay! Yay! All right. We were like more than happy to have you here. Yes, exactly. So kita orang tahu Diana ada buat skincare sendiri ya. Oh my god, you're letting me promote my yeah. business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes. Silakan, silakan, silakan. So, um, how is it going? You work from home ke? Macam mana ke? Oh, that's the beauty of zaman sekarang ni. Actually, mm-hmm. kita banyak choice di antara rajin atau tak. Betul. We have to build from zero. Mm-hmm. Walaupun kita celebrity ke apa, tapi to build the business is definitely from scratch. No Betul. matter what. Mm-hmm. So, I memang kerja daripada rumah. Mm-hmm. It's a handmade, homemade skincare. Ooh. Yeah, because I want to show people that I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. I'm not just macam lempar duit and then... Jadi duta. Or jadi benda tu. Benda tu. Benda tu. Yeah. Jadi benda tu without yeah. really giving them... Bak kata pepatah everything. daripada... Ada pepatah lagi episode ni eh? Pepatah okay. daripada okay. kita katakan Laksmana Huang He dulu. Oh, okay. Mereka mengatakan Rome tidak dibina dalam sehari. So, everything is start from scratch to make sure yang... Kita akan lebih dear to that product, you know? Uh-uh. Yeah, kan? Okay, kalau right. you nak tahu sebenarnya mm. Naim ni every episode memang ada pepatah <laughs> Ada daripada Thailand <laughs> uh. Saya kenal hati dan jiwa Naim Naim <laughs> memang seorang berhibur Yes, <laughs> itu dia So, kita pun tahu sebab betul lah <laughs> Macam yeah, business yeah. Kalau you, you tak start from scratch You have to know what you are doing Yes, you tak tahu Yang benda tu tak best lah You tak nampak uh, dia grow Honestly, kan? that so, dia tak? Yeah, yeah. Lebih pada business knowledge tu sendiri yeah. Because as a celebrity Kita selalu tak cukup business knowledge Betul Kita mm. lebih pada creative talent mm-hmm. And you know, macam ketengahkan our Our, whatever that macam Expertise terbuku kita. di hati yeah, yeah, yeah. orang-orang Wah, seni ni dia orang. banyak Plum. dia banyak jiwa tapi mm-hmm. dia tak reti nak handle or manage a business oh sedihnya uh, kan. jadi itu ketimpangan uh, industri kita we have a lot of talented people but mm-hmm. they don't know how to manage their own careers mm-hmm. or their businesses yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so basically we can see that actually uh, Whenever we are in this industry ke tak ke, regardless of what ke apa, in terms of surviving and evolving into this new norm, we are macam ni lah, cuba untuk melakukan apa yang kita mahu buat kan. Ya, yeah, saya betul. rasa Ruth, uh, Ruth, 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 dia nak cakap Ruth, 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 Ruth,
<laughs> Aku suka ni dia, 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 dia gelak sih <laughs> dia, dia punya okay. Dia macam Dia punya kereta api Rata lepas Dia train Okey lah Tengok sama lah topik tu okay, okay. okay Dari video yang kita tunjuk tadi Diana ada share Your experience On having anxiety attack ah, yeah, yeah, Maybe yeah, Diana yeah. boleh share How does it uh, Trigger at you sometime And what do you usually do To overcome it mm-hmm. no. Okay First experience saya anxiety tu saya ingat saya asthma. Really? Because I have asthma when I was a kid. Okay. I grew up with asthma but I sensitive dengan bulu kucing. All so right. I know the feeling of asthma. It's mm-hmm. tak cukup nafas mm-hmm. kan. Macam rasa macam kita punya dada tu ketat aja. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dia bukan yang macam tu ketat dia tak. Dia uh-huh. macam ketat. Okay, betul <laughs> tu tak ada nafas ah. Ya ya. Faham. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> dia nak bagi relatable At uh, one point I just I just have to agree with you Kasi yeah. macam ah, Tak apa cakap ah, Cakap je Cakap je Rasa dia macam lupa topik balik Alah Terima kasih lalu balik Okay, 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 okay. okay. okay Basically Lepas tu okay. Uh, apa Sempit <laughs> Ketat uh, So okay. I was racing Actually I was doing uh, uh, I was racing The was to, to, Toyota Gazoo thingy Toyota Gazoo So I was actually I think I was like first place <laughs> Highlight sikit tu eh yeah, 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 yeah. I was like first place Okay But Sebenarnya saya tak cukup rehat Saya mm-hmm. tak cukup Saya mm-hmm. tahu saya tak cukup ma- uh, minum mm-hmm. Saya tak cukup rehat Dan saya tak cukup tenaga I don't have enough stamina okay. I didn't prepare well for the job Alright mm-hmm. Tapi nak menang Faham So I push myself to the very limit Sampai actually I rasa I hampir kena heat stroke Oh yeah. my god So in between that Macam ag- being exhausted And Sebab dalam kereta kan Dengan suit Dengan, dengan, dengan helmet, helmet Dengan, helmet, dengan tak boleh pack uh, Tak ada aircon uh, So it's full speed Tengah-tengah hari So you're hot Tapi badan you tak cukup um, Tak cukup speed. rehat Untuk nak manage the heat In your body right oh, yeah. Okay mm-hmm. So at the at What happened was I keluar I terus minta he- Inhaler mm-hmm. Macam I need a healer I can't I can't breathe But I kept I think I used it like four times on that particular day itself oh. tapi dia macam tak ada oh. tak ada effect tak ada effect okay. and every time I ex- exerted energy macam the next day the two days after that three days after that kalau I nak buat kerja rumah je mm-hmm. terus rasa penat yang macam terus mengah that's it mm. that's it so I was like no this is something so wrong there's okay. something so wrong um I went to the doctor and the doctor thought that I had like a heart problem okay. he referred me to a cardiologist uh, uh, i no, remember no. i was 24 mm-hmm. and i now i'm not but okay, <laughs> but, <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. but at the same time i was thinking 24 i have a heart problem is it because i kuat kerja sangat ke sampai i buat diri i sakit yeah, so yeah, i yeah. question myself lepas tu a uh, cardiologist to check i rupanya dia bagi i zanax sebab dia kata You're having an anxiety episode. Okay. So that was my first time. My second time, somehow, I ingat, I tak jaga badan. I tak jaga badan. Uh, we tend to be very busy, mm-hmm. right? And we always ignore the signals that our body is sending us. Yeah. True, true. And uh, budak-budak sekarang, the youth now, it's all about if you are, if you take a day off, you're lazy. Yeah, if you not if you're resting okay. you're not productive uh-uh. yeah. productivity means working your ass off until you fall off and yeah, die uh-uh. yeah, like we have ya ah ah ya ah ah cerak i mean like benda tu can we just normalize of people mm. normalize people of having like a day off kan mm-hmm. excellence of, needs rest you yeah, need your true. day off uh-uh. yeah. you tak boleh macam keep on push yourself you know yeah. you know sometimes you hurt like push yourself to the limit yeah. but that's not it yeah, yeah you can yeah. yolo but yeah. at, at an extent you don't you don't sell off your body for yolo lah yeah. true. so okay. i I I didn't have to go to a psychiatrist mm-hmm. or someone to tell me that I abused my body. Mm-hmm. I didn't have I didn't need the doctor to tell me I abused it mm-hmm. with pushing myself too much, not giving adequate adequate rest, entah minum cukup ke tak, entah mm, makan, makan cukup, cukup ke tak. Uh. It really was a I really didn't care. I didn't have a schedule. I didn't check on myself. Oh. So it's really important being so busy like uh, generasi sekarang terlalu sibuk. Mm-hmm. It's important to actually Uh, dap, uh, ada connection dengan badan kita mm-hmm. True. Have a very sensitive connection to your body mm-hmm. And 
even though you have a lot of work even though you have so much at stake kalau kena rehat kena rehat because that's where depression anxiety suicidal thoughts Everything. will start yeah will start yeah that's the stage lah. that's the stage that's mm-hmm. the state of mind or the state of the body that will allow you to layan all the negative thoughts mm. and all this negativity that comes out it's just your body rebelling yeah, yeah, imagine yeah, yeah, if yeah. i overwork you i'm a human being you're mm-hmm. a human i overwork you Of course you'll have very negative thoughts of me. Betul? So yeah. your inner body is having negative thoughts and it's sending it to your outer body but you're not listening. Mm-mm. So yeah, I mean slow down and it takes months. People yeah, don't just take one week and yeah. terus recover balik. No. Sometimes can they, they have a lot of ep- um anxiety episodes. Mm-mm. That means you you haven't fully recovered before you enter back into the rat race. Betul? Oh. Yeah. Man, sorry, yeah. Naim. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Maen. Okay, so macam um, when yeah, we talked yeah, about yeah, anxiety yeah. and all these uh, things, and ada tak when you cakap benda tu kan, and orang tak percaya you? I really don't care. Mm-hmm. Pernah jadi ke? Yeah. A lot. Like I they mean, don't trust you. Like in general, whatever we say, there will always be someone who will listen yeah. and who mm-hmm. won't. Yeah. It doesn't matter what subject. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. it's never been my focus point. Concern. My focus point is those. Who are affected by it? If you're yeah, not true. affected by it, you're not my audience. Mm-hmm. Yeah, true. What you're if really the people out there, young, mm-hmm. have the anxiety and all, but people don't trust them? You have any words for them? Why are you trying to prove to everybody else it's not about them? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. You. I mean, when when we look outside, we're gonna start the blame game. You mm-hmm. don't understand. You don't listen. You can't relate. Mm-hmm. You, you, you. But the 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 conversation should be me, me, me. Yeah, yeah. I need to rest. I need to slow down. I need to make that decision regardless of whether you know or you care. Mm-mm. Because when I was going through it, I didn't, I mean, I had my family support, but I didn't um, rely on them too much to make me better or to make, yeah, to, to allow me to heal. I knew that, okay, I need to heal mm-hmm. because bila kita sakit, in whatever kesakitan pun, you it's have, you and yeah. your body. Mm-hmm, true. And all you need is um, maybe a few people that you trust. It doesn't have to be your parents. It doesn't have to be, if they're not giving you the support, you find people who are giving you the support. support true. Yeah. You know, and don't be sad if they don't understand. Maybe because your parents are not from the same generation. Yeah, yeah. yeah true. Exactly. Maybe they haven't, they've never gone through it because mm-hmm. the lifestyle of those before like, us yeah, are yeah, not the yeah. same. Yeah. So, they uh-huh. kata, kau stress apa? Semua benda kau senang. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's That's a different what they context. See, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. And somehow like, uh, how about those people yang, I mean, okay, depressed is actually a big word. Depression and, and anxiety dep- is not the same thing okay. to, to start with. All right. So, I mean like, the choices of word they've been using for themselves, especially these youngsters yang macam, oh, aku depressed or semua kan. So, macam, Or, oh, aku rasa aku kena anxiety semua kan. Like, okay. How can you actually... No. Ah, sebab... I, anxiety I, is a simple term for panic. Mm-hmm. Anxiety disorder mm-hmm. is when it becomes too much for the body to handle. Mm-hmm. Basically, it's the stress that the body can't regulate. Mm-hmm. So, it's basically betul-betul 100% on your body lah. Like, you have to control it like that. I would say manage. Manage. Cool. Because people say, you dah, you dah sembuh belum. I think like with with mental mm-hmm. disorders, mm-hmm. it's managing the symptoms. Mm-hmm. I can always get it back. I think anybody yeah, yeah, can yeah. get yeah. Capable anxiety of- attacks mm-hmm. because it has something to do with too much stress on the body mm-hmm. and the body not being able to regulate and our mind... Um, over-regulating thoughts, mm-hmm. um, negative or positive or whatever. It's just like non-stop yeah. conversation. Non-stop conversation. Yeah. To ourselves. With ourselves. And sometimes it's just, you just need to shut down and sleep. Or you just need to have um, better nutrition. Mm. Something is not enough. For you. For, for you. you. Yourself, yeah. yeah. To um, cater to the lifestyle that you want. Mm-hmm. So we want to be I'm an actor so I don't have a proper schedule in my life mm-hmm. like kita berlakon yeah. sampai pukul berapa lah yeah. yeah. so I need to find that pockets of time walaupun I tak suka walaupun I tak nak mm-hmm. I kena disiplinkan diri juga mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. exactly have some for, time for, for yourself for me to cukupkan so. nutrition rest fluid uh, hydration whatever you need mm-hmm. uh, because kita not long term career it's like voice yeah. you don't take mm-hmm. care of your voice you That's may it. have a three hour yeah. three year career mm-hmm. yeah. you take care of it you're a Mariah Carey oh. 
you know oh, true yeah yeah it's <laughs> yeah, that yeah, yeah. it's managing your voice no your voice will get damaged yeah through shows through mm-hmm. touring whatever but true. it's maintaining to be able to get as much of it true. yeah actually baru berapa <laughs> minit dia cakap but i get a lot man yeah lot. i was i mean i love <laughs> reading about the human brain and how we react to certain stresses and mm-hmm. i grew up with my mom having gone through major ups and downs relating to life okay. so i saw her suffer a lot of i guess i was an observer for mm-hmm. many years before i myself became a victim of mental disorders okay yeah mm. but i mean Wish, wish. <laughs> I mean, no, wish. Okay, the beauty. Let it sink in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> okay. So this is what I did when I had it. Okay, okay let's. <laughs> we want to know. We want to know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, so I have jangan. it now. Okay. What do I do with it? Mm-hmm. And it's constantly like every hour impending on me. I can't breathe. Mm-hmm. If I exert energy, I jadi penat, mm-hmm. and I need to rest. And lagi stress sebab mungkin kalau banyak kerja ada anak ke apa dia macam cepatlah sihat. Mm-hmm. You okay. know. Okay. Um, I started to uh, mula-mula I was dependent on coffee so I had about five glasses of coffee every day. Caffeine. Oh, caffeine. caffeine. No, caffeine is one. Mm-hmm. Caffeine is not really bad. Mm-hmm, Tapi caffeine dengan susu means I cepat kenyang. Mm-hmm. So I would skip a lot of my nutritious meals mm-hmm. for just coffee. Okay. So sebenarnya I was running on empty. I sebenarnya macam dah tak cukup nutrisi dah lama. Mm-hmm. And then I started buat peluh-peluh tangan. Okay. Pelu- macam macam seolah-olah mengandung yang macam tiga bulan yang kejap-kejap dapat macam like hot, mm. hot spells. Mm-hmm. Satu badan peluh. And why? Eh? And then meng- banyak menggeletak. menggeletak. Tapi belum full blown lagi. Okay. Those are my symptoms yang sepatutnya I dah tahu dah. I kena rehat. And I knew and I kept sleeping so late. Ya Allah, layan YouTube black hole tu. Yeah. Ah. Sleeping late tu sebenarnya is a key ke tau. Ah uh, betul. One yeah, thing betul. because you sleep kalau you tidur lambat je selalu kan it's not healthy for your life at all. My auntie she's like a mom to me so she said uh, shopping shopping mall tutup ke berapa? Mm-hmm. I'm like what that? Spulo. <laughs> <laughs> and then she's like yeah because they need time for cleaners to come in mm-hmm. and betulkan semua benda balik and like and then they open back and then everybody comes in and everything starts like normal just like your body. So you need to give it time to rest like a shopping mall. She's like talking to a five-year-old, but <laughs> yeah, but she she gave me some answers, you know, okay. to yeah, yeah. to sleep that. Yeah. And yeah. right now, I guess like whenever you had this thing, I mean, like this anxiety attack, up again. Yeah. How do I reverse it? And Sorry. also your support system, do I mean how they cope with you? I mean, okay. So how I reverse it is I make a a a, a very truthful, honest comparison between. The after, which mm-hmm. is the state that I am now mm-hmm. in my anxiety mode, and before. Mm-hmm. Why does it come now? What are the causes? So I listed them down. What lifestyle changes definitely? Like, okay. dulu I makan breakfast. Sekarang I skip breakfast. I tak makan dah. And then dulu I tak minum kopi sangat. Sekarang I dah cukup minum banyak minum kopi. Mm. Dulu I tidur pukul sepuluh sebelas. Now I sleep at three. Okay. So you can already see from there. Mm-hmm. Why don't I make these lifestyle changes Change. mm-hmm. and see if there are any changes? Mm-hmm. Yeah. True. So make a make a comparison. So and that's if, the yeah. thing lah. When orang tak realize tau. Mm. Like you never look back to yourself. Track back everything. Track back everything yang kau buat. Kau faham tak? So benda yeah. tu buat kita terlepas pandang. Macam aku mm-hmm. sendiri, okay. Huh. Um, I've always had this one issue whenever um, I'm about to release a song, apa kan? Ah. I kind of do macam what if, what if, what if, what if, what if, yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. Eh, sama lah, sama lah. I mean like macam aku akan ada this one day untuk aku duduk dalam bilik seorang. Nak tunggu lagu tu release. Oh wow. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Hmm. Dia macam, so adakah kita ataupun aku sedang mengalami that Anxiety or is just aku merisau kan? Okay, ah, I don't want people to be afraid of the word anxiety. Okay, like okay, I okay. said, anxiety is just panic. Panic. Okay. Mm-hmm. Everybody has anxiety in them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I feel the anxiety of getting married. Mm-hmm. I feel the anxiety of having my anxiety kids being born. Anxiety is not born. a dangerous word, lah. No, anxiety yeah, yeah, yeah. is just rasa macam nervous. Yeah, rasa nervous. Rasa nervous. Yeah, nervous. Yeah, like, nervous. Ya Allah, your single is coming out. It matters so much to you. Mm-hmm. You are feeling nervous. Mm-hmm. Takut dia flop. Takut orang tak suka. Mm-hmm. Takut penerimaan tu mm-hmm. macam mm-hmm. tak expect, not as we expected. Mm. SPM. Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, I takut. Mm-hmm. I studied so hard, but I only get one A. Takut, takut. Mm-hmm. 
Takut nervous That is part of being human mm-hmm. True um, The 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 point where you Start to realise Is the Is when It Affects your day to day Hari-hari You rasa benda tu Tak stop Nervous tu mm-hmm. Macam you Mungkin a certain period Sebab benda tu mm-hmm. Nak keluar mm-hmm. Macam Bila dah keluar yeah. Okay uh, Keluar macam yeah. Okay your, yeah. your anxiety has lifted Tapi For some people It's just a state That they're in All the time mm-hmm. It's all the time All the time Yeah So can you uh, If you're in it all the time You will definitely know That there's something wrong And how about Okay uh, We are in this Circle of Okay mungkin kita dalam circle Yang mungkin tak begitu Understandable about this thing apa And dia rasa macam Okay you're on your own That's it You gonna Maybe macam Okay sendiri And it's okay to be on your own <laughs> And somehow <gasps> Some people merasakan macam They, they can't be, they on, can't their be on their own So, ah yelah uh, I mean, So to the people I'm out there yang macam tu <laughs> Untuk people yang macam tu How did you manage untuk Cari orang yang Sama ada cari orang ataupun like betul-betul Trying to heal up by, by yourself, yourself No I reach out I definitely reach out okay. What I mean is If this If you have a kelompok of people who don't understand mm-hmm. It's more heartbreaking to try to make them understand Oh, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes people just just damn. can't trust something that you can explain. Dia right? macam aku pun tak faham state aku sekarang. Mm-hmm. Aku cuba nak faham, tapi macam aku nak explain kat oh, kau. Oh, aku yeah. pun tak faham apa aku exactly. lalui. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's very painful for people who are going through these painful episodes tapi tak tahu to explain and not justify Allah sakitnya. Oh, yeah. hmm. Nah, I will give you an example. Farid, mm-hmm. um, he's a I love him so much, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. he doesn't have enough understanding of anxiety faham but he tried the best he could to nasihat i macam like maybe you need to solat more maybe you need to like macam go back to quran yeah, maybe yeah, you yeah. macam <laughs> those are very good advice yeah, yeah. but kita macam la tahulah macam uh-huh, tu kan yeah, yeah, yeah. um but i don't i i think like there's something more, more to this beyond, uh, to beyond uh, 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 bukan yang menidakkan uh, but like there's a problem that i haven't addressed mm-hmm, uh, macam mm-hmm. tu so how is he supposed to understand he's my husband mm-hmm. tapi pun dia tak boleh nak faham mm-hmm. takkan mm-hmm. i nak blame dia and macam kita pun nak merajuk balik dengan orang yang tak faham mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. True, true. so you just have to there's a lot of communities now on facebook mm-hmm. Facebook groups mm, yeah. Or you have like Maybe school friends That you know Have had gone through this Mm-mm. Reach out Reach out, ha, reach you out tak perlu nak macam Macam Eh tolonglah percaya aku Aku sekarang ni mengalami Yeah don't be too pushy lah Tak payah, yeah. tak payah. Mm. Those who don't want to help Don't want to understand Won't That's it. Those who will Those who empathize mm. Will jadi kalau kita tak ada siapa-siapa Reach out to a group A hotline mm-hmm. A group mm-hmm. Sebab banyak sangat dah Macam all these uh, organizations yeah. That are there for people Who feel that there's no one so, I'm sorry macam sekarang That I'm working with Like uh, Miasa Mental yeah. Illness Association That's one of the most uh, yeah. Established yeah, yeah, yeah. Trusted mm-hmm. uh, And reliable uh, Organizations out there Miasa yeah. mm-hmm. uh-uh. And okay Another question from me adalah Okay That very time was uh, you posted that video on Instagram. What is actually your expectation and also There was no expectation. Okay, okay. I wanted to find answers. All right. Mm. So second, okay, first time, mm-hmm. can I um first time I kena pergi doktor kardiologi yeah. sebagai yeah. Xanax. Uh-huh. Tapi kali kedua Xanax tak tak tak, tak mampu work. untuk Dah memang tak work lah. Tak work. Okay. Okay. So certain medication when you're on that peak mm-hmm. of that episode doesn't work You're burnt out already Memang dia macam uh, anxiety aku dah burnt out teruk lah kot uh, Anxiety uh. ni dia Ada stage ke I mean like Oh yeah There's a spectrum the worst? to it yeah. What's the worst That could happen to anxiety I think the worst is just Feeling completely out of control With your own Body. Bodily system mm-hmm. Oh Mm-hmm. The breathing The thinking mm-hmm. We can't control We can't control The supposedly Controllable things oh. Even Bayangkan If you can't even Control your own breathing yeah. What else? <laughs> That's the source of life yeah. <laughs> Exactly Exactly yeah. uh-huh. That's my air And it's worse Because Bila tak boleh bernafas You're constantly thinking I'm gonna die I'm gonna die I'm gonna die I'm gonna die, I'm gonna That's die. the worst part The worst So now Bila I rasa macam tu I tak panic dah okay. The more you, I panic The more I feel Oh my god I'm gonna die I'm gonna die The <laughs> worse it yeah. gets yeah. 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 You can overcome yourself You lah. can overcome no. Like I can Now I can Like sometimes When tak cukup nafas I'll take like A plastic bag Or a paper mm-hmm. bag mm-hmm. Because it 
ingatkan I that there's air inside there's mm. air there's air inside you have to air. visualize it or I something I have to sort of visualize oh, oh. and oh. jangan overthink yang macam oh my god tak boleh breathe but you're just like watching yeah, Cartoon people, Network or people something people say overthinking sucks right mm-hmm. like there's a lot of overthinking pun ada banyak benda yang akan ada overthinking hari-hari yeah, hari. macam ni those people who tend to get on the anxiety side tend mm. to overthink and they're Their their mind goes really fast, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I have to go against what's normal for my brain. Mm-hmm. When I start to feel that it's going too fast, I have to force it to slow down. Mm-hmm. And in time, you will learn to slow it down by breathing, by thinking, relaxing things, mm-hmm. by taking your mind off things. You know, without realizing, we, we are actually fighting our own body. Mm-hmm. You know, and that is the hardest part. Yeah, because macam, kau uh, berlawan dengan diri kau. Uh, kau boleh imagine apa benda tu. Like uh, macam betul. mana orang-orang ni tengah hadap tu situation kan? Jadi so, macam sistem treadmill. Wow. Oh yo. Ni perumpamaan dia pada no, I, I mean like <laughs> macam okay, kan we know that treadmill ada stages. Ah uh-huh, ya. Yeah. Laju nak mampus kita yeah. akan macam okay. Dan jangan lupa yang ada uh, ada yang hmm. option naik bukit. Naik bukit, turun uh, bukit. So uh, like uh, macam okay, we actually in control of that mode. Uh-huh. You know? Like yeah, that's how I Visualize it, lah, and, and it's almost like um, when I'm breathing, but like a full a full breath. Yeah. Tapi ting a, a full breath. Tapi tinggal je suku je boleh muat. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. So dia macam sakit sampai tulang belakang. I boleh rasa terlalu sakit because I'm over expanding my mm-hmm. lungs all the time. Mm-hmm. So that's why I started crying because sampai nak tarik nafas pun sakit. sakit. Nikmat tarik yeah. nafas tu, mm-hmm. and I felt like. Okay, this yeah. is something because I went to the hospital on that mm-hmm. second time, mm-hmm. but no doctors were able to yeah, help okay. me and tell me, okay, this is an anxiety attack. Now you should do this. Tak ada siapa. Macam yeah. like, kejap. So Sorry, now huh? I have to put it on Instagram because I know someone out there have have yeah. felt this, have gone through it, and, and can, help can guide you. me. Yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. yeah. uh, yeah. tak ada orang guide. Because I, I have a friend. Yeah, she's a rapper. So macam ada this one night they realize macam benda dia selalu jadi dia selalu pergi show semua kan. And then masa dia rap tu tiba-tiba dia rasa ramai orang and she can't breathe and then dia muntah kat backstage. Oh, wow. uh, dia jadi macam benda tu dia dah takut oh, wow. to go up on stage. Oh my god. Yeah. And that is very hard for her. Maybe so, she needs to go see like a psychotherapist those mm-hmm. who like can like put you in deep sleep and take out all yeah. these like mm-hmm. It's actually the most important thing is to relax and rest your body, right? Maybe there's a bigger issue. Is she insecure about something of herself? Mm-hmm. No, no. Maybe it's not just about people. Yeah. It, try to find a bigger answer within yourself. Mm-hmm. What is triggering you to be nervous around people? Mm-hmm. Do you agree that uh, somehow the Kementerian Pendidikan wow, okay. terus. should Mari-mari. actually put up on a syllabus of like mental awareness punya subject for this globally students. i uh. think it's it should mm-hmm. yeah. not just in malaysia mm-hmm. yeah. it's a common because it's lifestyle related yeah. mm-hmm. with our lifestyle that mm-hmm. that our consumeristic governments <laughs> around the world um very this consumerism lah mm. you know so you have people working yeah. all the way Till past midnight, mm-hmm. and then spending money, and it's is is this rat race that mm-hmm. we're going through. So yeah, I do believe that with this lifestyle, mm-hmm. needs to have, uh, it needs to come with proper support like life skills. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, that should be taught in school. Mm-hmm. Mm. Because I'm quite even sad. money. Actually, if you talk, if you ask me, even like financial skills mm-hmm. should be taught earlier in school, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. that because kids are working earlier and earlier now, yeah, yeah, but yeah, we yeah. don't exactly. have enough. <laughs> skills to manage, manage a lot of things. But when we think about it, like I'm quite sad. When orang macam tak ambil benda ni as serious matter. Serious matter, tau. Oh. So actually, there's a lot of things going on out there, right? As we all know, macam young people pun boleh get into anxiety attack mm-hmm. or depressions mm-hmm. or stress. It's right? relatively. Uh, dia macam ni lah. I think we have to cross one more generation. If you know what I mean, like the awareness is been it's being spread. There's a mm-hmm. process that's yeah, going yeah, yeah. on. There's mm-hmm. change. You can feel it, mm-hmm. but yeah. it can't happen overnight. Betul. It probably needs in another generation another for generation. people who are fully woke, who, who can mm-hmm. understand and be like proactive about it. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. And okay, like. Kita bercakap dari sisi sebagai parent wise pula. I mean, oh, yeah. heavy, heavy. Ah. heavy, heavy. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready uh. for the questions? Okay. 
Boleh lah. I'm tired. Oh, you're just talk about fun stuff. Fun stuff. I, I mean, like, what's a new single? <laughs> As a parent, basically, yeah. Basically, yeah. as mm. a parent, I mean, okay. Dengan yang dengan ada anak dan sebagainya semua. I mean, how one day, if like, if your children are having the same thing that you are having before, and they don't want to tell you, and uh. somehow, adakah kita as a parents will be able to see the changes in them? First I mean, of all, aku tak sekeh kalau dia orang kalau dia don't tell me these things. <laughs> Terus, yeah, okay. tuan tuan. First of all, I'm a whip your butt. Uh-huh. <laughs> you go and ask your friends, ask your neighbor, yeah. ask this. Why? Okay. Okay. If you have parents who understand, who've gone through it, ask them. True, exactly. Okay, but if they don't, maybe maybe our relationship has changed through the years. Mm-hmm. They get older. Mm-hmm. There's a gap. That's Mommy's right. not as cool anymore. Really? We never Mommy know. <laughs> One day, I may not look cool in their eyes because I'm their mom. You know what uh, I mean? Like, uh, yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Mommy's being overprotective, whatever. Like, whatever their reason could be, mm-hmm. I will never know if I can tell because I know a lot of kids know very well how to fake it. Betul. Okay? Betul. I know a lot of kids who have committed suicide baru parents diorang tahu, oh. oh, sebenarnya anak aku tengah sakit dalaman. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can't definitely know if they will ever share with me. Yeah, yeah. But my job is to make sure that the door and the conversation is open. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like that's the least I can do. Like mm-hmm. the conversation about growing up, about your life, about things that you want to risk doing as mm-hmm. young kids. Mm-hmm. I hope you can let me know lah. Mm-hmm. Want to do something? Let me know. Even if it's something stupid, let mm-hmm. your parents know. The ones that are cool, lah. <laughs> yeah. You know, then I can help you out and maybe tweak a little bit of your plans. <laughs> <laughs> you can't stop people from yeah, yeah. growing up. Yeah, yeah. That's what I realized. Being young and mm-hmm. ha- being a mom, mm-hmm. you can't stop people from being young. But when the parents are there and giving constructive advice, the kids will be less secretive. Maybe it's not what I want to hear. Uh-huh, true. You know, whatever they want to do. Maybe it's not what I want to hear. Mm-hmm. But if I'm not there for them, other people will, will take my probably. place. Yeah. And that's not going to happen. <laughs> oh, yeah. Watch out. Yeah. <laughs> Watch out. So I have a question for you. What is your definition of self-care? I haven't gotten that down yet. Not, not yet. I'm still learning how mm-hmm. to care I for see. myself. Mm-hmm. I think I've ignored yeah. myself for so long. So long. I'm still learning. Mm-hmm. Um, but I know that this is recent, yeah? Mm-hmm. I appreciate morning routines a lot more. I appreciate having night routines, morning routines, because to me, the, the repetitive things mm-hmm. give you uh, some sort of stability and relaxation. It tricks your mind to think that you have stability and mm-hmm. relaxation. Mm-hmm. You're prepping for something. Mm-hmm. You're prepping to care for yourself. I, I I have a friend of mine who, every time I speak to him in the morning, he's in the gym. Okay. Mm-hmm. It got me so fed up. <laughs> Don't be so healthy. <laughs> <laughs> But that helped me realize mm-hmm. what I'm not doing. So he's like, Diana, go, go for a run, mm-hmm. get yourself a kick-ass breakfast, mm-hmm. And then start your day. And that actually, it didn't seem like a big advice from him. But mm-hmm. that was a big advice for me. So okay. I started exercising. I started <laughs> like planning for yeah, like yeah, my, yeah. I want my breakfast to be like yeah. great breakfast. Mm-hmm. It's not yeah. just a breakfast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's that macam opening. Welcome. <laughs> my breakfast. Tak, my tapi, breakfast. Tapi betul loh, kamu nak tak rasa macam kalau kau bangun pagi and We as a musician and okay. Kalau kita salah dengan lagu Our day akan jadi macam lagu Yo do. Yeah, betul, betul kan? Uh. Betul lho Serius, that's facts Yo do. You, have to, start, <laughs> you <laughs> have to start your day Dengan benda yang betul lho So yeah, macam yeah. makanan yang betul uh. Benda yang you buat tu Macam healthy Kalau oh, kena dengar macam lagu Shade ke Fuh. <laughs> Barulah hari tu Lian yeah. rhymes Lian yeah. rhymes <laughs> <laughs> can, 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 can you share us like Three things yang kita tak tahu about you? Yeah, I write songs. <laughs> I know that. We know, know that. that. <laughs> you know that. They don't. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, okay, okay. no, no. Actually, why I say that is not because like I want to get in your group. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's more because that was what 
helped me through a lot of things in my life. Cool. Music. Yes, music writing. and and writing. Yeah. Um, not just songwriting, but writing, writing. in general. It, yeah. it is a form of journaling. True. Mm-hmm. So writing has given me a lot of because sometimes we can't talk to people. Yeah. True. There are certain things kita memang takkan bagi tahu. Kira so, that's the way you talk to yourself. Ah. Yeah, so through like that. cryptic cryptic mm. songs Understood. you know like you can read the lines but mm. they're not going to be the same meaning as true what you know mm. yeah. so i like writing that helps writing. um the, another one um i drive like an <laughs> what? i drive like <laughs> like my mom and my okay. husband had to beg for me to go into tgr oh. they're like please <laughs> Take your driving into a racetrack because no wonder number one just now <laughs> <laughs> because they were afraid that I was gonna die. Aww. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. I'm just gonna die better now with better skills. You know, what I mean? <laughs> proud. <laughs> yeah. So that, that awesome those are crash. three things, guys. Right. Yang korang tak tahu, kita orang pun tak tahu. <laughs> uh, and the third one is, I think, um, I wanted. Kids when I was I want I always wanted kids at a young age. Mm-hmm. I knew they were going to be my stability rock, right? Mm-hmm. Because I was um, I came from a broken family. I didn't have much to look uh, forward to in life. Mm-hmm. So I knew that having kids and they're the sweetest thing. Like kids yeah. are so sweet, mm-hmm. and they allowed me to be more mature because I'm impulsive. Okay, like I will do things without thinking. I will yeah, yeah jump yeah. jump through the yeah. tallest buildings and then think later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Macam, we don't want to buy. They just buy kita tak ada buy rumah. You know. And then you know, it's stupid, stupid behavior that yeah. I had to stop. So I knew that having kids brought me down, um, humbled me, gave me a lot of kira ni macam, awak kata macam like. Um, a future. Why do we me... talk like a Virgo? Huh? Tapi, <laughs> wow. Tapi Are betul loh. No, I'm a Scorpio. Ah, it's very Scorpio. Betul. Hala. Hala betul. Tapi betul lah orang kata macam <laughs> children are the best gift in life. <laughs> They're not just a gift, but they really give you a sense of oh, I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of energy there. Right? So yeah, I, yeah. I, I'm a parent. Yeah. <laughs> So it really like Mata, you're not a kid anymore. You you must yeah, handle true. your finances, handle your life. You can't let them down. It really is a core for people who are impulsive. But if you're not ready to become parents, don't have don't kids. Be, yeah. Don't. Don't make true. a baby without a daddy. <laughs> wow. <Yeah>. Whoops. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think we are. Then <laughs> we are done with the anxiety so, but, uh, topic. Romain, yeah, but I have a question. Oh, yeah, my oh good snap. Okay. No, no, it's not. A, it's not. It, it really is for all the songwriters out there. Okay. Mm-hmm. I are you guys? You guys are both like songwriters, right? No, sort of. No, sort of. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> not too shabby, but yeah. Yeah, but I just want to ask, like, uh, from one songwriter to another, and maybe all the young kids out there mm-hmm. who want to ins- aspire to be s- singers. Mm-hmm. What happens if you have a block? You have Writer's half a block. song. Okay. You have half a bloody song. Okay. <laughs> you love the melody, mm-hmm. but you don't know what to do with it. See it again. Always happen. Yeah. <laughs> it's normal. It's, like, it's okay. It's okay. It's normal. Yeah, yeah, I want to yeah. cry. It's not. I I I found though. But like, benda tu akan selalu jadi for songwriters. Yeah. Tula. But we just can't push ourselves to finish it. It oh. takes time, seriously. Oh. Ada lagu yang macam dua tahun baru siap, oh. setahun baru siap. You make me feel so Tuh, like. much better. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, because like um, me, kadang-kadang I have a home studio, and kadang-kadang dah buat lagu. Tiba-tiba ada satu verse yang I tak tahu nak buat apa dah. Yeah, it's like you have a verse or you have a chorus. Yes. It's so good. And then when you try to write, you're stuck, the, right? You write <laughs> stuff. You, you're mm-hmm. stuck there, right? So you can't push yourself at that time. You just have to. Do something else. Just live your life. It will come. It will come. Yeah, I do believe time, that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you yeah. have to believe that. Okay, so just like writing but, scripts, yeah, you but you'll can't do good. Push the scenes to happen. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, but as for me, I treat every single songs that I've made couple, do much my own child. Uh-huh. Mm. So okay. whenever you wrote it down couple and you rest so much, um, somehow benda ni is getting there. But why do you mention me? Yeah, so much. Um, that's just how 
I see my parents try to understand me as well. So macam sometimes it's not just there, but maybe the beauty akan hanya ada dekat situ. But dia akan datang dekat benda lain. Hmm. Yeah. I don't get it. Nah, tak apa, tak apa. It's okay. Sebab I pun <laughs> tak tahu macam nak explain. But the thing is try to again. just try again and also just let it be first. Because oh. to write a song, orang Masih ingat macam... Masih dulu. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> tak esok kalau pun sampai sampai black pepper. And also, kadang-kadang you lupa pun lagu lagu tu. Yeah, exactly. And I ju- remember I've had a song that I wrote when I was 12 uh-huh. and I finished it when I was 12? 18. Yeah. Oh, ah, see, yeah, first yeah, time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah, because like the I was cooking something like. Hey, go first. Nanti, go. Go first. Then you go record lah, right? Ah, that's how we make song. Uh-huh. Sebab uh-huh. macam orang rasa macam oh buat oh, lagu sorry. ni is just you buat lagu. Yeah. Tapi sebenarnya so it's hard to be true. Yeah, because you want your song, the message, the the message whatever, to live. Mm. Yeah, so when you can't be true, then just don't push. Stay true to it, lah. Ikhlaskan lah hati tu bila menulis. Yeah, so, so, yeah. I know some of you are like here for anxiety, but it's like um, it is an outlet if you guys are going through anxiety. Anything, yeah. Yeah. Uh, things like journaling, writing things down, writing songs, poetry, it helps. Yeah, that, yeah. So that's why I'm asking because it's sort of related. You have to find an mm-hmm. outlet. Mm-hmm. Kalau kita ni macam ada masalah dalaman yang Channel banyak. Down, apa benda ke, tu. Channel it to something and it may become a career, a side income, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We never know, Even right? photography, if you like photography, True. people who have a lot of internal emotions mm-hmm. can get the photography, uh, emotion through the photography. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Benda tu somehow like one thing leads to another. I mean, uh, yeah. Or kalau korang tak kreatif, it's just TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> hey, TikTok uh, apa pakai effort pun? Uh, ha. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I think we one are... One question okay, lah. Okay, one question lah. Okay. If you are able to jumpa your six-year-old self... No, I will always cry in this question. Oh, oh man. Yeah. You, you got this question a lot, good, Chandler. No, but I did ask. Actually, I did a I did a project mm-hmm. okay. where it's about running through time okay. and going back to your small self. So yeah, I had yeah. I had time to contemplate about that. Okay, I'm very emotional about that. So, also. what are the things that you rest with, Cham? Wow, you. I was not ready for that question actually. <laughs> yeah. Pada muka. Yeah. So yeah. I had a very, very, very difficult childhood. Okay. Like I must say that uh, if if you were to kind of put it, put my life on a timeline, mm-hmm. and if you ask me where would I Wanna be? say the hardest, uh-huh. it would be between four, five, six, seven, because I lost my dad. Okay. At that point, so all my life it was just waiting for him to come back. All right. And I would tell her if I was, if I could meet her again, and I'm. Now when I have kids, because my daughter is five, mm-hmm. so now when I look at her, I look at me, and I always go, "If only you knew that your dad would never come back, and that you would make such a great artist. <laughs> you always wanted to be like an a, an actor, a singer. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And you are that." You got what you wanted, mm-hmm. and it's because of the things that happened to you, the losses, the heartbreak, the waiting game, yeah. Yeah. Okay. the loneliness that uh, made me an actor. Yeah. That gave me more emotional depth. Mm-hmm. It allowed me to relate to so many other people. Mm-hmm. If it wasn't because of that tragic day where my dad decided to. Apart from us, mm-hmm. I probably would have been a teacher or something like completely different from what I am today. But that loss allowed me to universally understand emotions. And here we are today. We are having like one of the greatest artists in Malaysia. Oh my so God, yes, stop. a round of applause. Daniel, Daniel guys. Thank Daniel, you Daniel, guys. guys. So what, I really think that whatever thing. That she's been through after all this time is whatever that makes her today. Like it mold into an her art, and like yeah, she's an art. Man. She's an art. Aww. Yeah, like benda-benda ni macam you will never gonna realize apa yang menjadikan what you are now yeah. is whatever you are having before. Yeah, I'll I'll give you yeah. an example of yeah, like yeah. did you did you watch like documentary for Beyonce? Uh-huh. Yeah. She said like you won't understand what happens to your life until one point when mm-hmm. you look at the bigger picture everything connects. Mm-hmm. Okay. So like 
whatever tragedies like was that happened throughout my childhood mm-hmm. gave me a more beautiful life right now mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know because i try harder to to preserve the happiness to preserve a lot of these things yeah. that i never got mm-hmm. so that's you know it makes me work much harder and it makes me become more relatable mm-hmm. so i think that don't don't i i guess like don't self sabotage yourself but yeah Don't think that oh this only I'm going through this pain mm. this loss mm. maybe that loss bring will bring you somewhere mm. better mm. always believe that yeah yeah sometimes like we just have to believe that life is can't just believe a- Naim made me cry <laughs> <laughs> sorry he makes me laugh all the time he's never made me cry <laughs> yeah. your current But situation is not your final destination right no <laughs> it's not yeah <laughs> one more time applause to our. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Guys, yes. beautiful actor, yes. I was so much inspired, gila. Inspired, gila, no. Like I get a lot yeah, of yeah, yeah. things yang I boleh simpan and to ingat balik because so like glad. to have this conversation is not easy, you know, yeah. to share the problems or share the stories. But whatever it is, um, life is worth living, right? Yeah, yeah. And you guys are all young. Um, It's it is the time to feel all that pain to mm-hmm. to make yeah. those mistakes. Okay. You know, don't don't be a 60 year old and then which I'm oh now I want to do everything I want to do. No, do it now so that when you I'm gonna become 30 next year. Yeah. Wow. So I I felt I feel this that my mm-hmm. life is well lived. Mm-hmm. For yeah. me to step into my 30s, yeah. I feel puas. Mm-hmm. I've done it. Mm-hmm. I've taken all my risks. I had my kids. Mm-hmm. I've I. I'm still married, mm-hmm. you know, and it's such a big feat because I I had I came from a broken family, so yeah. I feel puas gila that I am able to step into my 30s, knowing I've made the mistakes I had to make. Yeah, yeah. wow. So yeah, Some guys, all all the youth out there, don't be afraid. Just try and try again. You'll get to where you need to go. Hey, I don't know what's going on. One more time, one more time, guys. I thought it was going to be like a session where we laugh. Yeah. It ain't. Hey, it ain't. Oh, gambla kang dari dak dak. Ni menangis dah habis ni. Sweat tu dah basah dah tu. Lengan tu dah basah dah tak apa dah. But again, uh, it's an honor to have you here with us yep. today. Hey, I feel so lucky to be with both of you. So yeah, guys. Aku pula nak guys. But this is the last one lah. Oh no, do what you guys are keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. I love your show. I haven't seen thank it, you. but I just love your concept. So, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Okay, wow. Thank you so much, everyone. Okay. So we're gonna wish like a happy and beautiful life for Diana thank Daniel you. right yes. here. And if it's still MCO, hold on, don't go crazy at home. <laughs> True. Stay, stay at home. Okay. So thank you, guys. Thank you so much, everyone. So we are signing off. Assalamualaikum. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.